Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boys Steve and Ryan coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be going over what we picked up at the March Dallas Card Show. Um, and before we get into what we picked up and looking at some of the cards and some of these boxes that we're going to open for you, um, we're going to talk about what we were looking for at the card show, walking around the floor, what we were trying to pick up, trying to yep, find. Yep. Um, so Steve, so what, what were you trying to look for? So I'll go first? Okay. I initially had F1 thoughts on my mind. F1. If y'all remember from our January card show video, that was that's mm -hmm. what I was looking for. And unfortunately, I got COVID during that darn show. Yeah. So I didn't get to find it. So I was looking for more F1, and I didn't find really much that I was looking for. There was only a handful of vendors that had some F1. Mm -hmm. um, even the ones that did didn't have anything I was really looking for. So that was my mindset going into it. And then I was, we were in the midst of a lockout for baseball. Thank goodness that's over. <laughs> um so I also was looking for some baseball. Didn't have a particular player in mind. Was just kind of looking for um, maybe like Luis Robert, some of last year's rookies, Key Brian mm -hmm. Hayes. Um, not really Wander, but since his cards just came out. But I was keeping an eye out for maybe Wander, Paper, First Bowman, stuff like that. Yeah. So that's really, that was my mindset going in the card show was F1 and baseball. Yeah. So for F1, was not more of kind of just like, oh, I mean, I know you knew Top Scrum was coming out the following week, so yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of just well, like. Eh. Well, if you remember from our January video, I was looking for George Russell and Lando Norris, specifically Lando Norris. So that's what I was doing. Now was trying to find a Lando Norris, either Sapphire or Refractor uh, base rookie card, um, yep. and just I couldn't find any. Yep. So, yeah. And then, so once I couldn't find any, I was like, oh, I'm just going to hold out until 2021 Chrome comes out and we'll rip some of that, which you saw last time here on Bloodline Cards. Yep. And so I was more looking for, at first I was looking for some booster boxes of Evolving Skies. Oh, you went Pokemon. Yeah. Because um, I, I, we own a couple, we own a case of them, to be exact, of Evolving Skies, but I want to, I wanted to get a couple more, pick them up while, before they go up. Um, go up in value and they, the print stops running and stuff yeah. because I want to open some. The ones that we have, we're just kind of put away, store away. And, uh, you know, they're more of an invest investment. It's an investment case. Yep. I'm sure we'll, we might rip one, but, or, yeah. or you'll find another one, but yeah. Yeah. So I did, was not able to find any evolving skies on the show floor. Was able to find a couple, um, there's plenty of other like chilling rains and, um, Darkness Ablaze, uh, and Fusion Strike, but no, nothing else I could see. Um, so I was mainly looking for that, and as well as trying to find uh, some Tyrese Halliburton rookie cards. Um, you know, right now my focus when looking for cards, graded cards, or even some raw cards have been, has been focusing on the parallels and looking for the yeah. for the uh, autographs and stuff like that. Those just those the non base, things, yeah, non base, getting away from non base and getting more into those very unique. Um, low, card, pop. low pop card so um ended up searching around for a pretty long time wasn't able to find anything and then uh me and steve walked up to this person and, <laughs> and steve was like oh he's looking for it because he asked oh what are you looking for because ryan being the shy guy that he is <laughs> mm -hmm. doesn't always like to ask if he doesn't see it in the case he just yeah. might not engage yep and, and I was like, oh, this guy's looking for Tyrese Halliburton. This guy was like, I know a guy who has a ton of them. Let me call him. So he calls him. Calls him. <laughs> and Ryan was sitting there like, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I guess so. <laughs> and so <laughs> one thing led to another. The guy and eventually came on over mm -hmm. and he uh, handed me. He was like, oh, I had four starting today, but now I only have this one. And Apparently he was the talk Halliburton was the one of the guys to look for in the show because there's always yeah. when you talk to the vendors you always hear people are looking for more specific players than uh, than others so sometimes it's Herbert and Burrow sometimes it's Lamelo sometimes it, in this case for March it was Halliburton seemed yeah. to be the guy a lot of people were looking for yeah so this is what Ryan ended up finding. so this is what I ended up finding this PSA nine. Tyrese Halliburton, fast break, red. Beautiful card. Very beautiful card. This is what the guy had. It is a pop four. Um, the guy, whenever he told me he was, he said it was a pop three, but when I looked it up, it was a pop four. Um, maybe he meant it was just out of three others. Out of, out of three. Oh. Because um, this is right now, if you can't see it, 
You can also touch the screen. I know first time you're using this camera. Yeah. So we're still getting used to <laughs> we're getting used to this camera. It is three out of eighty five. I don't know if you see it, but anyway, it is a beautiful card. Um, so when the guy came to me, he was like, "Oh, he's like, I've had a pretty good day today." So, um, yeah, realistically, he gave you a deal. Yeah, he realistically, deal. he was like, "I would want 400, 400 for it," and I was like, mm, "I don't know," um, and I was just kind of iffy on it. And then, but he's like, "Oh, I've had a really good day today, selling a bunch of stuff." So can't um he's pretty much said make me an offer yeah he was just like make me an offer um and he he, anything you throw probably out he'll take and i was like ooh, 400 and i didn't want to be like oh 200 low volume and then we'd sit there go back and forth and figure it out and then right um i didn't expect him to take the first price you throw out there yeah that threw me off and so i was kind of sitting there thinking i looked up a couple prices couldn't really find anything i need raw cards for this go for like uh probably like 75 ish dollars 60 62 is i think the last one that's sold on ebay but i ended up throwing out 275 the guy sat there thought for a while and was like yeah sure i'll take it and i was like oh oh you said 275 i thought yeah. you meant 250 no that shows what i know yeah i wasn't paying attention it's not, not who for, i was looking for <laughs> <laughs> got it for 275 and i at first was very like mm, i don't know if this is a good deal psa 9 Overall, looking at the card, couldn't find anything wrong with it. The only slight thing is there's just little tiny, like, dink, corner error. Corner yeah. error, or what? I don't, we don't really know. Where? It's like, it looks like a, like a little nick. Yeah. But, um, so, I don't know if, overall, I may end up, you know, taking it out of the case or maybe sending it off to BGS, see if I can get like a 9.5 or something a little bit higher because there is nothing higher than these nines at the moment. So, even at BGS or just PSA? Uh, I couldn't find anything on BGS because you got to, you know, log in, have a credit account to look at all the pop reports for stuff from BGS. Oh, I think I have a BGS account. So, I, just I was, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I was looking up, PSA only tells me there's only four nines that have been graded, zero above, zero, zero, anything higher than that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think I, I, I'm very happy with it because I ended up seeing a little bit of it. I think somebody put it, one of these um, on on eBay, for, uh, the PSA 9. I think their best offer or their lowest uh, buy now price is like 325 So, so far, I feel pretty good with my pickup. I'm very excited for it. I think Tyrese is... Ever since he was traded. Ever since he's been traded. Plus, he's just been playing great. I think he... Is up there as one of the stars from this rookie class with Lamelo and Anthony Edwards. Um, so I think he has a very bright future ahead of him, and I am excited that I have a very low pop of his card, and I can't wait to see what he does. Right in the end. All right. Um, so instead of us, yeah, instead of us swapping seats, you can go mm-hmm. ahead and start with. Um, what do you want to start with? The middle card. Uh, the middle the card? non. Yeah, we'll we'll start with yeah. Oh. The Bobby Witt. So this, I, like I said, I was looking for baseball. Bobby Witt was not on my radar. I did not think about him as a... I didn't think about prospects for some reason until uh, about halfway through Saturday. And I was I saw a couple of Bobby Witts, and I was like, oh, you know what? I, could, I should pick up one of his cards. I don't have one. So what did I do? I found a guy who actually had a ton of them. He, I think he was from Kansas City. Had a ton of them. I was trying to get a deal to get that mojo Bobby Witt chrome in a Sapphire um, Bowman. Mm-hmm. And um, I tried to get him to let it go for 200 for the pair. And I could not get him to budge. So I just took the took that one. I got it. I did get it at the sticker price. Looking at comps, it was right around 65 So I was like, you know what? I just I won't bargain for 5 or $10. So I went ahead and got Bobby Witt. Um, very nice card. I think it might get sent off to PSA or BGS, yeah. um, depending on how that is. So I picked up Bobby Witt Jr. He was one of the pros, or not one that I was looking for, but one that I ended up stumbling across and ended up liking. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, let me get this while, while I'm here. Gotcha. Is, and is he still a prospect at the moment? Yeah, he's, he's a top prospect. I think he's the number one prospect out of the Kansas City farm system. And I think he's top 20 in all of prospects. Mm-hmm. I don't know where he sits uh, in all the prospects, but I know he's the number one Kansas City prospect right now. Gotcha. And he's expected to come up and play really well. Oh, yeah. So, next card I got, I wasn't, again, I don't think I was looking for any of these. 
but I did end up finding another dealer who was selling some Keybrine Haze. He had two autos. He had a Bowman rookie, a Bowman Chrome rookie, and then a this Topps Chrome rookie. And I really like this Topps Chrome. I thought it looked fantastic. Again, another one that might get sent off to grading. Um, looked at comps, found them for right around a hundred bucks. So I was able to get the guy to knock off fifteen because mm-hmm. I did get it for a hundred even. Yeah. And I I like Key Brian Hayes. I don't you know I think he has potential to be a really good all star. Uh, third baseman, shortstop, I forget what he plays. Uh, what third base. Third base. So I think he has potential to be a third, uh, an all-star, and I, I, even though I don't think the Pirates are going to go anywhere, I think he has a bright future um, in his career. Yep. So, so I went ahead and picked up an auto. I'm on the same train with Ryan trying to find less base and more, more maybe base autos or parallels or something along those lines. That's why I got the Bobby Witt mojo and was looking at Sapphires instead of just getting um, yeah. the base. Base chromes. Oh, yeah. I definitely agree. This great pickup, like yeah, Kebron Hayes. I think I don't think I think he had a down great. year last year. He what he didn't get off to a hot start, but then again, he was with Pittsburgh. Yep. So so I mean I mean overall, I think he's one of if not everyone's favorite from that class to mm. uh you know yeah there's the top big there's thing or next big thing I, there's no but. like superstars emerging out of that class right now. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of solid all stars and players that you could round out your team with but there's there's not like a, a Juan Soto or a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's no one right now who yeah. really stands out in that class. So Definitely. this last one was actually a rip of mine. I got a Star Wars Signature Series box from one of the vendors for 70 bucks. I got home. I was like, I'm going to save this. Had a couple drinks. Couldn't wait. So I <laughs> opened it <laughs> and pulled a Grand Admiral Thrawn, I almost said Tarkin. Grand Admiral Thrawn, I think it's Lars Markinson is his last name, if you flip it over. Yep. Mi- Mikins- Mikin- yeah, I'm not going to try. Mikl-l-l-l-l. But yeah, he play- He voiced Thrawn in Rebels, and I was super excited to get that that card coming out of that box. So that was my third quote-unquote pickup, even though technically it was a rip from a box. And yep. I did like it. That, as you see, we've had some shorts. We've had, yeah, we've had some shorts for Star Wars Signature Series that you can see behind us. And then that one will actually here. Let me just go ahead and do it right now. Let me prop this one back behind. Yep. Yeah, they're on display. Not not getting rid of them. Being the huge Star Wars nerd I am, so those were the pickups that we had. Yep. Besides. Besides, both me and Steve did pick up There's yours. some hit parade boxes. I myself have a mini helmet autographed. Um, autograph football mini helmet. Steve went for the MLB jersey. MLB jersey, and so we will. I don't know exactly so how we're gonna, we're gonna we're do gonna, this, but we're gonna open. Yeah, one. we're gonna pause for a second. We're gonna change the camera angles a little bit, and mm-hmm. then we're gonna open them. Yep. All right. We fixed our camera angles. Mm-hmm. Ryan's gonna get into his mini helmet first, and then I will come and uh, I'll open my autograph jersey. So Ryan, yep. Our opening of the video is going to be these hit parade boxes. Yep, so I went with number 22 out of 100. Now, just to mention, you could pull people like Jamar Chase, Chase, Drew Brees, Josh Allen, Drew Brees, Bo Jackson. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to need it again. Um, So I think those were the top four or five five. that you were chasing. Uh, Jerry Rice was one of them. Oh, yeah. So um, So we're going to get into this. We've been holding on to this for like a week. Yeah, and it's been killing Steve and I... You know, I don't like having stuff sit around unopened. <laughs> it's just not my style. Oh. And so I think, what was it? I got this for one twenty. Um, yeah. So okay. one twenty. I know there's a name somewhere on the box. So you're gonna try to have to avoid. Yeah. So let's just see. You get into it. Okay, it is covered in plastic a little bit. Let's see. Who? I don't know. I can't tell who that hey, is. Let me, see, let me see the box. It's supposed to be written in here somewhere. It looks like an evil. If I had to guess. It is not written in the box. <laughs> it's not written in the box? Who is nope. it? 12. We're gonna have to Google that. 
<laughs> How funny. Ultimate Eclipse Eagle. So it's an eagle. It's well, Philadelphia Eagle. I can tell you that much, but... <laughs> This is amusing. This is really Who amusing. Who is... Is it Donovan? I don't think it's Donovan McNabb. No. Michael Vick? No. No. Oh, my gosh. All it? right, we're going to figure it out and let you know. <laughs> we're going to have to figure that one out. M... MC... Uh, number 12. Who's, who's number 12? I don't know. Uh, Celtics. No, he's eighty something. I'm pretty sure. TBD. Does it not say on the? I don't know. It no, said it on I the box. Of those. On the box, but it might be for the big replica helmet. I don't know. Well, I guess me and Steve will switch places. I will yeah, figure we'll, out. We'll, we'll Ryan will have to Google it real quick. Yep. Oh, as I already stand up to switch. Places. Oh, oh, sorry, I found it. Randall Cunningham. <laughs> Mini helmet. Dude, you looked all over that thing, and then you just found it. Randall Cunningham himself. Not bad, not bad. Thank you for the laugh. <laughs> okay, now we will switch spots. <laughs> all right, now that we have switched spots, Ryan, if you'll go ahead and hand me lucky. Oh, no, Mine it's, was a... It's, I think it's only fitting that, of course, we're Dallas fans, and we pull an eagle right. autograph. But, like, it's Randall Cunningham. So, Legend. Legend. So, mine, I think, was 250 is what I paid. Mm-hmm. Hits in this are going to be Ken Griffey. Uh, it was Ken Griffey Jr., Ronald Acuna Jr., Vladimir Guerrero Jr., uh, David Ortiz re- recently announced the Hall of Fame, mm-hmm. and then Tatis Jr. So those were the top five chasers, and then I'm sure you could pull also other big names, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. Right. As you can tell, I mean... Big name, Randall Cunningham. Uh, sometimes I'm not sure why we still use Lucky. Oh. I don't either. It's, it's <laughs> awkward and bulky. Oh, you can't see. Huh. So I saw the autograph that that has Mariner on it. But yeah. I don't think it is not Griffey's number. Felix Hernandez. Felix Hernandez. Oh, please tell me you've got to remember who Felix Hernandez is. He was the ace for the uh, Seattle Mariners for most of the 2010s. Oh, so pitcher? <laughs> yeah, he was the starting pitcher. I think they called him King Hernandez. So we're sticking with their pitcher autographs? <laughs> hey, but I will take, a, a, you know, another rivalry for our Texas Rangers. Yeah. So we did pull our rivals. Mm-hmm. But, you know, King Hernandez, he was a, a great pitcher who probably could have been a Hall of Famer. Yeah. But that, that is, is nice. That nice, is jersey. nice jersey. I think my first autographed jersey, I'm probably looking at it upside down, I'll make some editing magic mm-hmm. to make it work. But nice autographed jersey. I could also hold it up, too, to the big cam. Wow. What a nice jersey. Nice jersey. I don't know how that's coming in frame. Higher? Or is that good? Oh, I got the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. But that is Beautiful. awesome. Those yeah. were our pickups. So uh, Ryan and I said that for the next card show in Dallas, which is May, we were going to have a challenge that was we are going to add $10 to our pool. So we're going to spend however many likes you get. So say you get you give us 75 likes by the time this video comes out. We'll do well. That's seven hundred and fifty. Yep. Yeah. So the amount of like, I'm just doing math in my head. I was like, oh man, my wallet, my bank just, <laughs> bank just called me. And was like, what are you going to spend now? Yeah. But <laughs> however many likes we get, times that by ten, and that's how much Ryan and I will spend at the May Dallas Card Show. So go yep. ahead and smash that like button. Be sure to sc- uh, subscribe if you want to see more awesome content like this. Mm-hmm. And until next time, y'all, we'll catch, we'll catch you later. later.